Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about flow variables in ServiceNow. I have an entire playlist of flow designer videos. To check out those, please click on the top right corner and I have given the link in description as well. The agenda of this video is what are flow variables and how to create flow variables. So first of all, what are flow variables? Flow variables are temporary storage locations for data that can be used within a flow. So these are like temporary variables you can say or if you remember using scratchpad variables in workflow. So these are kind of temporary variables in flow designer. Next flow variables can be used to store that is entered by the user or data that is generated by the flow. So you can assign any values to these flow variables as you want or whatever the requirement is. And flow variables can be used to pass data between steps in a flow. Next is how to create variables. For that I will show you a demo where we will be using flow variables for an example. So in the demo we would be creating a flow through a flow designer where we will be running it when an incident is created. And in the next step, we would be counting the number of incidents with the same category. So if an incident is raised with certain category, we would count the number of incidents with the same category in the incident table. And then we will be printing number of incidents with the same category in the logs table. So it's just a straightforward example. Let's go to service now and quickly build this. I'm in my service now. I will type flow designer here. And I will go into the flow designer interface and now I will click on new and click on flow and I can say here flow variable demo. So this is the name of the flow and I will go ahead and submit this. I will add a trigger here. So whenever a new record is created on the incident table. For that I will select here the incident table and I can either put a condition that the category field should not be empty only then it should be running. So I would select category here and from the drop down I would say is not none. So if it is not none only then it would be triggered every time an incident is created and then I would create a flow variable. So to create a flow variable, I will have to click on these three dots, which are also known as more actions menu. I will click on flow variables and a new pop up would open. And here I can click on this plus sign and I have to give the name of the flow variable. I can maybe say counter and the name of the flow variable automatically changes. We can choose any type for example string decimal floating point or integer in our case let's choose it as integer but there are others available as well like reference and string i'll click on integer and it automatically saves i will click on cross and then i will set the initial value of this flow variable for that i will go to flow logic and then type set flow variables and again click on this plus sign and in this drop down, whatever variables have you created in this flow would appear. So we had created only one. So we have only one here called counter. I'll click on counter and I will initialize its value as zero. I'll click on done and then I have to now count the number of the incidents on the incident table, which have the same category as the incident was created during the trigger part. So for that, I will click on action. And I would say lookup records and then click on the table incident. And in conditions, I will select category. And here I would click on this data pill picker. Click on trigger and then on incident record and then search for category. And I will click on this. So it will try to find out all the records in the incident table which have the same category as the incident that was created. Now once it fetches all the records which have the same category we have to write a loop to count the number of those incidents. For that I will have to select flow logic and then 
use for each loop to count the number of records. If you want to learn more about loops in Flow Designer, please click on the top right corner. I will click on for each item and then under lookup records and incident records, I will just drag and drop this here and it will loop through all the incident records which were fetched in step number 2. I will click on done and under this I will click on flow logic to set the variable again. So I will type set flow variable and I have to increment by 1 every time this for each loop runs. For that I will click on the plus sign again select counter and then drag and drop this flow variable from here. And then if you notice here, there is a FX button called functions. I will click on this functions and I can utilize many of the functionalities which are provided for flow variables. So these are all the functionalities provided for flow variables. I will click on math and then use add and whatever number I want to add every time the for each loop runs. So I can add number one every time it runs and I will apply this. After applying, we will have to write the counter value in the logs as well. So once this runs, in the next step, we would be writing this into log. For that, I will click on action and use out of the box core functionality of writing into the log table. I will keep the level as info. And in the message, I can type maybe Hardit counter and I will display the value of counter. For that, again, I will drag and drop flow variable counter from data pane and click on done. I will save this flow and activate this. And once we activate, we can test this out on the incident table. We will give it a second to activate. Okay. Now we will go to the incident table. So incident dot list. I will click on new and I will select caller as system admin maybe and I will select category as inquiry help and then I will populate the short description field flow variable test and I will save this. So once it is saved in the logs, it should have number of incidents that have the category as inquiry help. So let me click back and try to see how many incidents are there with the category as inquiry and help. So I categorize them here and we can see there are 39 as of now. We will go to the logs table and let me open this in a new tab. And you can see here in the logs Hardit counter 39. So our flow variables are running as expected and all the functions for the addition which we had defined are also running fine. So this is how you can utilize flow variables in your service now flow designer and they are really helpful to store temporary values in your flows. If you have any questions regarding flow variables, please do let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer you and thanks for watching the video. Please do. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button.